Well, this Deutsch 840, I always loved. It starts from nowhere. It starts, it opens your world and you think it is going to be rather lovely and strong and positive. And bang, there is a, it is a non-modulation. It is in C major, which is fairly, it is a strong open key. And, and normally in the classical sort of uh, uh, diatonic music, the, uh, in the sonata form, the first, the statement is in the, in the tonic, so this C major piece starts on C major and that continues strongly. And we are going to, and second subject is going to be in the tonic. That's all, so uh, the, the second subject is going to be in, in the dominant. So, in, so one expects it to go to G major, just, just about, all right? And this one, he twists them on, on one, moment he twists it and we are in B minor and then D major and that is such a place as you made you never dreamt of it is not in this world and he takes you there it is completely frightening and what he thought about it what he, how he meant it, and then the F sharp minor is so, it is just earth shaking, and so on. And the, then second movement comes back in C minor. And it then, when it ends, it disappears into nothing. And you expect a scherzo to start, which is never to come. So it sort of, uh, makes me think as if it was the world where, when, when he was around the time of his life, in which he was when he was composing this, because he knew he was quite soon to die. And, and so for him to be faced with this horrible uh, notion of death, and yet, having certain longings and certain beauty. This is so Schubertian, and that he couldn't continue at all is something so, for me, it is beautiful. <laughs>